When I took the oath to accept the office of state representative, I swore to uphold and defend both the U.S. Constitution and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It is important to note the language in both of these documents. The Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Additionally, the Pennsylvania Constitution, Article 1, Section 21, is even stronger in stating, the right of the citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves and the state shall not be questioned. The right to self-defense is God-given and not granted by government. These statements in our state and federal constitutions simply tell government what it cannot do. I believe it is the duty of elected officials at the state level to stand up for the rights of the citizens in their state when they are questioned or threatened. New gun laws will only succeed in disarming law-abiding citizens. Criminals will always be able to access restricted items on the black market. Restrictions against the law-abiding citizen will only impact their ability to defend themselves against criminals. While gun control advocates argue that their proposals will make us safer, the fact is that new restrictions against law-abiding citizens will increase the likelihood that good people will become victims. My thoughts and prayers go out to the victims of the terrible tragedy that took place in Newtown, Connecticut. Nobody should ever have to endure the sort of pain that that community has endured. It is terribly disappointing that anyone would use this pain to shamelessly push an agenda that will infringe on good people's rights without making anyone safer. We already have laws on the books that make it illegal for disturbed individuals like the shooter in Connecticut to purchase or own guns. We can do more to ensure that mental health data is accurate and shared with other states, to ensure that people can't work around the procedures we have in place. Full enforcement of current laws and a further focus on keeping guns out of the wrong hands is the responsible way to go. In the inevitable coming debate, I will be advocating for the rights of Pennsylvanians, and I will be encouraging all of my colleagues to push back against an overreaching federal government that has no business infringing on Pennsylvanians' God-given rights. I will be advocating for the Firearms Freedom Act and other common-sense legislation that appropriately keeps Pennsylvanians in charge of their own self-defense.